exciting. Um, I'm really proud. Yes, I was a little nervous, but um, yes, yeah, I'm fairly calm now. It's really good. It feels good. Él empezó a, a dibujar desde que tenía cuatro años más o menos y, y desde entonces no ha dejado de dibujar. Empezó a tomar clases con Carmelita Navar cuando tenía siete años y, y es su alumno hasta la fecha. Pero siempre él, uh, lo que más le ha gustado hacer desde chiquito ha sido dibujar, pintar. But very rare do I see the dedication that this child has and the parents that just they bring him and bring him and bring him and bring him. And so that makes a big difference, the support of the parents with the child. Because he has everything at home to be able to work. I mean, they've supplied everything. Uh, he ha I mean, he has his own paint studio at home. So that's very important. So intuitively, he's developing his own criteria with the things that he wants to do. And so. That's, to me, is a natural way to learn. There's no judgment. It's the words that I use in the class. They can't use the word mistake. It's only an oops. So we have to restate. And so that gives them, that takes away the fear. And then if they don't know what they do, I says, don't worry, we put gesso over everything, we start again. Oh, okay, we'll build up the layers. So they understand that there's going to be oopses and that there's going to be, uh, that we can recreate it, restate it. And so that builds, takes away the fear factor, big time. How important are the arts in our world? You know, it, it speaks to the soul of, of humanity. And where the arts flourish, the community flourishes. So I'm big, 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 big. Start them young, get them into the arts. An art form that speaks of the soul.